this is a grammar lesson for the ninth standard students before we actually go on to the topic let's do a quick revision of the two most important verbs that we have already done in the eighth standard these are the verbs etra and avoir we have already studied them in the present tense in the eighth standard so you need to know this before we proceed with the actual topic for today so let's quickly revise je suis tu es il est nous sommes vous êtes ils sont and avoir is je tu as il a nous avons vous avez ils sont if you are not comfortable with this please take a notebook copy it down and only then proceed with the rest of this video so our actual topic for today is the past tense now you need to know that there are three past tenses in french which are the recent past le passé récent the simple past le passé composé and the past continuous or the imperfect tense which is l'imparfait so today we are basically focusing on the simple past tense which is called le passé composé as you know it's the same way in english that the past tense is used to talk about an action that happened in the general past now here is how we construct the passé composé in french it is made up of two parts you have the auxiliary verb which can either be avoir or être in the present tense which is why you need to know those two verbs thoroughly well and the second part of the passé composé is the participle so before we see how to judge whether to use avoir ou être as the auxiliary let's see how we form the participle of the verb in french so the simple rule of thumb for the regular verbs belonging to the to the three groups is for the er you will change it into e with the accent aigu so for example chanter to sing the past participle becomes chanter which is sung for ir verbs the ir has to be changed into i so you're basically removing the r for example finir to finish becomes fini as the past participle f i n i then r e verbs belonging to the third group you have to change the r e into u so descendre for example becomes descendu you can apply these three rules to all the verbs which fall into these three particular families now as with any language and any tense there are always exceptions so you need to know these exceptions to the participle formation which do not follow the three rules that have been given to you in the previous slide so let's go through them quickly with their meanings avoir is to have becomes e boire is to drink becomes bu conduire is to drive becomes conduire connaître to know becomes connu courir to run becomes couru croire to believe becomes cru devoir is to have to becomes du dire is to say becomes di écrire is to write becomes écrit être is to be becomes été faire is to do or to make becomes fait lire is to read becomes lu mettre is to put becomes me mourir is to die becomes mort naître is to be born becomes né voir is to be able to becomes pu prendre is to take becomes pri rire is to laugh becomes ri savoir is to know becomes su suivre is to follow becomes suivi venir is to come becomes venu voir is to see becomes vu vouloir is to want or to wish becomes voulu and the last one vivre is to live becomes vissu you need to know these by heart because these do not follow the rules of participle formation all the other verbs you can straight away apply the three rules given to you in the previous slide so now that we've learned how to form the participle as well as the exceptions you need to understand that most of the verbs while forming their passé composé take the auxiliary as avoir so let's try with this verb share share which is a regular er verb which means to search or to look for something so share share is a normal er verb whose participle becomes you cancel the er and you put ex on eq becomes share share 
So, j'ai cherché, I searched, tu as cherché, you searched, il a cherché, he searched, nous avons cherché, we searched, vous avez cherché, you searched, ils ont cherché, they searched. Similarly, the conjugation of the passé composé for this verb fair has also been done for you. Fair is to do or to make. Now you need to remember that fair is an irregular verb when it comes to forming the participle. Therefore, the participle of fair is F-A-I-T, fair. And you can observe how the conjugation has been done by using the present tense of avoir and then the participle. Now these are some practical Practical examples for you in sentences of the passé composé with avoir. J'ai visité la plage. I visited the beach. Tu as fini les bananes. You finished the bananas. Roy a vu un singe. Roy saw a monkey. Nous avons écrit les réponses. We wrote the answers. Vous avez travaillé au supermarché. You worked at the supermarket. Ils ont battu les œufs. They, they beat the eggs or they broke the eggs. Now, if you have understood how to form the passé composé using avoir, please try these four as a practice work for you. Please pause the video and do this and then you will find the answers on the next slide. As I told you earlier, there are very very few verbs which form their passé composé using être. So these are the verbs, okay, they can be remembered by this acronym Dr. and Mrs. Van der Tramp. So devenir, revenir, monter, rester, sortir, venir, aller, naître, descendre, entrer, rentrer, tomber, retourner, arriver, mourir et partir. So all these verbs which you can remember using Dr. Mrs. Van der Tramp, form their passé composé with être and not avoir. Every other verb will use avoir and not être. Something else you need to know is, when you are forming the passé composé using être, you need to agree the participle to the subject. What do we mean by that? For a feminine subject, a feminine singular subject, the participle will take an extra E. For any plural subject, the participle will take an extra S. And so, if you have a feminine as well as plural subject, the participle takes an extra E as well as an extra S. Please note this happens only when the auxiliary is etra in the passé composé. The participle remains unchanged in passé composé using avoir as the auxiliary. So you can see here, être has been used to conjugate the verb aller in the passé composé. Now you know that aller falls into that Dr. Mrs. Van der Tramp category. Therefore, it has to be conjugated with être. So je suis allé, tu es allé, il est allé, elle est allé, nous sommes allés, vous êtes allé. Ils sont allés, elles sont allés. Can you see for je and tu, there is an extra e in the bracket. That is if the person speaking is feminine. Now, when we are talking about l, the person is obviously feminine. Therefore, that extra e after aller is compulsory. Now, when you go to ils sont allés, that extra s is because the subject is plural. For elles sont allés, there is an extra E as well as an extra S because the subject is feminine as well as plural. This is the agreement that has to happen when you are conjugating your passé composé with être. Similarly, in this slide, you can see how arrivée has been conjugated using être as the auxiliary. And you can also take note of the agreements that are happening with the participle. Now let's look at some examples of sentences where the passé composé has been conjugated with être. Je suis venu à la soirée. I came for the party. Tu es parti pour France. You left for France. Marie est allée à Goa. Marie went to Goa. Nous sommes tombés sur le sol. We fell on the floor. 
vous êtes resté à l'hôtel. You stayed at the hotel. Mes sœurs sont sorties de la maison. My sisters left the house. Please note that whenever the subject is plural, there is an extra S attached to the participle. Whenever the subject is feminine, there is an extra E attached to the participle. You can use these four examples to practice forming the passé composé using être. Make sure that you follow the rule of agreement. You can pause the video, solve these and check your answers with the next slide. And finally, once you are comfortable forming the past participles as well as you know when to use être and when to use avoir and you have familiarized yourself with the concept of agreeing the participle when the auxiliary is être, you can go ahead and try out these nine sentences for practice. These are mixed, so you need to decide first whether you're using être or whether you're using avoir, put in the correct participle, put in the agreement if it's necessary and complete these statements. Pause the video, you will get the answers on the next slide. I hope you've understood how to form the passé composé as well as how to use it in sentences. Thank you very much. Merci.